Well, hello everybody. Welcome to You Dig It. I'm Roland, and this is my latest purchase. A brand new pair of Uggs. That's right. I spoiled myself this week. In fact, I didn't spoil myself too much because I got these Ugg Strap Mini Classics in size 10 from the Ugg store for the whopping price of 59 bucks. That's right, 59 American dollars. They're regularly 160, but if you look on Ugg three or four times a year, you'll see them have their closet open, and that's when they have their biggest discounts. That's basically their online outlet. Except these have some cool straps and buckles across the top of the ankle there. I got these from the Ugg store on their clearance section, which is a little hidden trick. If you don't know, once, twice, sometimes three times a year, Ugg will have a clearance section called the closet. And in that section, you can get Uggs at a super discounted rate. I got these for $59. This particular model usually goes for upwards of 160 but you can definitely get them for a much better price online if you just search. Inside, of course, you'll see that usual sheepskin lining. It's very soft to the touch and very comfortable to wear. Around the side of the boot, you'll see that that suede continues all the way around and it's very soft, supple suede. Here I am sporting them with my cargo pants. And uh, as I model them for you a little bit there, you can see that they're very comfortable when you're walking around wearing. They fit really nice as if uh, they're dress shoes that have a soft Dr. Soul's inner lining. But, of course, they don't. They're just regular boots. They flex really well, and they're super lightweight. They, less, they weigh less than a pound, 14.2 ounces. These shoes have an overall great build quality. They definitely feel like they're worth every bit of 100 bucks. They have a really nice stitching that goes along the top of your instep there and attaches down to the sole on either side. It's not glued on. It's actually a spiral type of stitching of suede that travels and just gives the shoe a really nice contour. It makes it look not as bulky as the regular classic boots used to look. Around the bottom, you'll see a thick bead of canvas stitching that attaches the top suede part of the boot to the sole. It's done very well. I can't see any glue visible around that stitching. It appears as though it's truly stitched to the sole, which makes it really great for wear and tear, I would imagine. And I believe it's supposed to seal out some of the moisture that can get in your feet when you're walking up and down a sandy beach at the end of the day after surfing. Or if you use them like me during this crazy pandemic times, I'll be wearing them just to check the mail when it's a little damp outside from all this rainy weather we've been having. Now, the buckle and strap are attached there with stitching also. The strap is a more of a canvas type of material that has a two-tone, and the buckle is made out of some sort of black pot metal. It seems like it's pretty well made, and I don't think it'll break, but only time will tell. Now, inside, you have that shearling lining. It's really soft, and they say that on the UGG website, they only use the highest quality sheepskins that make the cut. There's a really soft leather material around the inside seam there, you can see me pointing to. That's great for when you wear these with no socks. That nice sheepskin goes all the way down into the sole, all the way to the front of the boot. And if you're ever wondering, yes, the top part of your foot will be co covered in that sheepskin also. It's very soft. On the bottom, you have the tread light sole, which makes the shoe very, very light. It still gives it a little bit of give and allows for some comfort when walking. But you can feel rocks and things when you're stepping on them as you're walking around. But all in all, fits great, flexes well, and it does contour to your foot very nicely. Again, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the boot when it's on the foot. This time, I'll raise up the pant leg a little bit so that way you can see what the buckle and the strap look like as you're wearing it. You can imagine if you were to wear some shorts or tuck your pants into your boots if you're so inclined to do that. Wouldn't recommend that unless uh, you're just the coolest person on the planet and you can pull that off. I can't with my pasty white legs. So, as we see here, I'm going to lift up the pant leg just a little bit and get that 
an image of the buckle there, and oh, he's rocking the beach buggy socks, which is still pretty nice and a great color. Orange buggy. I did not pull the strap tight, so the buckle is not cinching up against uh, the, the shoe very well. So I could probably pull it a little bit tighter and make it fit a little bit more snugly. But for these this purpose, for just the video in here, I wanted to be able to just wear them around a little bit, show them off, let you see what they look like. They do look great as I precariously try to balance on one foot. They have a really nice fit around the toe area. It doesn't feel like my toe is pushing up against the front of the boot too much. It's just right. So they truly are size 10. And there you have it. These are the UGG Classic Minis directly from the UGG store. And if you like this video, by all means, please hit the like button. Help me get some more subscribers. And subscribe, please. Help me with that algorithm to try to generate some more viewers. Let me know in the comments if you like them, if you dig it, what you think. Thanks. Bye-bye.